guys, it's Randy Cook here at Drumeo. I'm in Drumeo land, and it's uh, another, another great time to tell you about this drum beat by John Bonham from Led Zeppelin, When the Levee Breaks. Such an iconic drum beat, such an iconic drummer, and um, I want to break this drum beat down and uh, analyze it a little bit and, uh, and teach it to you. So before we get into the grace notes and um, all of that stuff, let me just play you the most simple version of the beat, uh, just the kick and snare, no hi-hat, nothing else, just the main kicks and snares without the, the extra added stuff that we're going to get to. So here we go. Here is the main vibe of this drum beat. So there you have it. Um, that's the, the, main, the main gist of the drum beat. Let's add the hi-hat eights, just that alone, to that drum beat. Let's hear some click. So that is what the hi-hat's gonna be doing. That's what the big kicks and the big snares are gonna be doing. Now what makes this drum beat sound uh, as amazing as it does? It almost sounds like there's a delay or, you know, of course there's a reverb. It sounds like the drum kit's in a big hall or, you know, a church or that kind of thing. They had some great miking techniques back then, but the cool thing about how John played this drum beat is on the very first kick drum, he's playing the one really loud and there's a 16th, the E, the one E, right after it, not so loud. So, loud soft. So, three E and a four E and a, you hear that? Not two, not all the same loud, but. So it creates this delay, it feels like it's, it's echoing. And he does it on the snare as well. So he does that little echo thing on the first kick, on the next snare, not on the next kick. So. So it's on both snare drums, two and four, and on that very first kick drum. The other kick drums are just straight, nice and loud. Click and I'll play that to click. Three, four. And so there you have it. That's the one of the tricks of why that groove sounds so good. You've already got the, the eighth notes going. Now, that grace note on the, on the snare drum, the snare drum hand, I'll just play the hi-hat and the snare drum. Now we're gonna not play the kick drum so you can really hear what's going on with the hands. Don't forget, we got that two and four with the, with the echo with the 16th note after. So here we go. One, two, three, four. hear that it's imperative that those grace notes are low really nice and level and you can already feel without the kick drum how bubbly that's getting how 16thy it's getting almost echoey so let me uh, um, put that all together for you
So there you have it. Practice it slow, break it down, do just a kick, just a snare, just the hands. Slow it back down to a, to a metronome and work the speed up so you've got that real smooth, nice 16th vibe going. And, uh, and you'll be playing like John in no time. Uh, head on back over to drumeo.com for more tips and tricks and stuff like that. And um, I'll see you soon.